other industries, the $64 billion beauty business has been hit hard. Since some states loosened restrictions just last week, previously shut salons have reopened, and some stylists feel they've been put between a rock and a hard place. Should they reopen, putting their clients and themselves at risk, or do they continue going without a paycheck? Those are the very tough questions facing Atlanta salon owner Jamie Booth. Take a look. My name is Jamie Booth, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I have been a hairdresser for 23 years and a salon owner for 20 of those years. Business was great before the pandemic. I have a very solid client base, and so everything was happy and good, and there was no fear about getting anyone sick. Given the favorable data, enhanced testing, we will allow hair designers, nail care artists to reopen their doors this Friday. Today is the day that the governor of Georgia opened up hair salons for business. I'm choosing to stay home with no income. I just can't do it. I cannot go into my salon and put people's lives at risk and put my own life at risk. I got about four hours of sleep last night. I ran across an article about an Atlanta hairdresser who was loved by many and respected, who is now dead from contracting the COVID-19 virus. And it just made me know in my heart that I'm making the right decision. I finally just got to the point to where when anyone asked me why I was closing my doors, my answer was just my son, my father, my friends, and my clients. I would rather come out of this on the back end knowing that I did the right thing, and I do believe that we will recover from this. Jamie is joining us in Cyber Hall from her home in Atlanta, Georgia. Jamie, when the governor of your state decided to allow salons to reopen, did you consider did you consider opening your doors back? No, I didn't consider it for one moment. Uh, I still don't understand why he would allow businesses to open before even the original April 30th shelter in place order was put into place. And the supposed peak of the coronavirus hasn't even happened in Georgia, if I remember correctly. So I can't open my doors and feel right about it at all. So it wasn't an option for me, not even for one moment. You've been a hairdresser for 23 years. You've owned your salon for 20 years. I'm sure you have many, many friends in the beauty world in Atlanta. And I've seen the pictures now, salons open, some with lines out the door, others using you know, paper or plexiglass to separate from their clients. What seems to be the feeling amongst most of your friends? Do they think it's worth it? I can tell you that the friends I've talked to that have already gone back to work, and I have no judgment there because everyone is doing what they feel right, and some people truly are completely out of money, but my friends that have gone back to work are nervous. They want to make sure that they follow the rules properly, and just ordering the PPE supplies in has been really difficult because most of the things that we need to order are on back order at this point. So I've been in touch with a lot of different salon owners, and most of the salon owners that I'm in touch with have chosen to stay closed at this point in time, but the ones that have opened uh, are surely guinea pigs at this point, and I wish them all the best, and I hope they stay safe. I know you said you'd rather lose your home than put your clients' lives in danger. Is it to that point that you're having to look at the possibility of losing? You've been successful for a long time, but we know you're a mom and bills come in. Is it to that point where you have to weigh it that way? It is, but I made the phone call on May, or I'm sorry, March 18th to my mortgage company to ask them what their forbearance program was to know what I was up against. Because I have mortgage, I have the rent on the salon, I have the power bill and the phone bill for both of those places. And the money I need coming in the door just to pay the bills before I take home a dime is about $5,000. So I was very quick out of the gate to go ahead and start making plans for how hard this could potentially be. My goodness, I know that, you know, listen, my hairstylist is one of my closest uh, friends and we're like a family, so I imagine it's the same with your clients. They say your hairstylist is like your therapist. Uh, are you hearing from your clients both to just say hi, but also to get some root advice and <laughs> how to navigate without you? 
Yes, I talked to several clients every single day, and it took me about the first two weeks of isolation to come to terms with the fact that I'm powerless over this situation and there is nothing I can do about it. And so I just kept telling them that I love them and I miss them. I have gone door to door delivering products since I shut my business down and they have prepaid me for their next visit. And some people have paid me for a haircut that they did not actually receive, not expecting to get that money back. The first day that salons opened was one of the hardest days I've had during this process because other people were able to go get their hair done and my clients are waiting for me and they're supporting me and I, I'm touched by that. Well, you will make your return when it is right, when it is safe and when it is best for not just your clients, but everyone they come in contact with as well. So thank you so much for sharing your story. We really appreciate it. We wish thank you so much. Nothing but the best moving forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Tamron. It's nice talking to you.